let's talk about temporary disability. Okay, what does that mean for you as an injured worker? Temporary disability. So let's say, for example, you are a grocery store worker um, right here. Let's say you work at the local grocery store. It's called, let's say, Vons. Okay. And uh, you hurt your back. Okay. We'll use that as an example. So you hurt your back. Um, you go to the doctor and the doctor says, all right, you now have work restrictions. And the doctor gives you uh, work restrictions that look like something like this. So because you hurt your back, one, you cannot lift anything over 10 pounds. Okay, you can't lift anything over 10 pounds. Okay. And two, uh, you can't bend or twist at the waist. Okay. And this is what constitutes a work status. So when your doctor gives you this, these types of restrictions, they put it on a work status and you have to give your work status to your employer. Okay, your employer then has the opportunity to say, yes, I will accommodate these restrictions, or no, I can't accommodate these restrictions. And that is where we split into two different categories. Okay, So we're going to talk about two different categories. There's temporary partial disability. And then there's temporary total disability. Okay. Now the difference between that is if you are temporarily partially disabled, uh, you're still working, but you are working less hours than you used to, or you're making less money than you used to okay, because of your injury. Temporary total disability is when you're completely off of work. Um, so let's take this situation, for example. We'll have two Vons, okay? We'll have two different managers um, and two different employees that got hurt, right? So the first Vons, the employee that got hurt and has a low back strain, were, was given these restrictions, and the manager, manager says, yes, I can accommodate these restrictions. What you'll do is uh, you'll be a greeter outside of Vons, and uh, you'll just be... You know, saying hi to the the locals and, and the shoppers, and you'll be telling them, you know, where they could direct their attention to, what kinds of sales uh, Vons has right now, and uh, that's what you'll be doing while you recover from this injury, so that uh, you're not lifting anything, you're not bending or twisting, you're just out there saying hi. Um, the problem is though that because this is a special type of job, I can only uh, the manager can only give you 15 hours per week doing this job. And unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do for the remainder 40 hour a week you used to work, right? So you used to work 40 hours, okay? But now you're only working 15 hours per week, okay? So the difference between how much you should have made working 40 hours a week and how much you are actually making uh, working only 15 hours a week. That's what we call temporary partial disability. Okay, so you get uh, the remainder. So whatever, let's say you're making uh, $10 per hour. Okay, per hour. And uh, now because of this injury, you're, you're working 15 hours a week, so you actually lost, so let's say, uh, 40 minus 15 gives you 25 hours lost per week, right? So the insurance company will pay you the $10 an hour times the 25 hours you lost this week, okay? And that gives you $250, all right? But of course, disability benefits are taken at two-thirds of that, right? Two-thirds of that, okay? 
So actually, in reality, uh, you're only making, let's say, uh, 500 divided by 3, which translates into 100 66 dollars and 67 cents so this is how much the insurance company will pay you for temporary partial disability okay and that's how much they'll pay you on a weekly basis per week all right let's go over here so what happens in the second store right the second store there's another employee um, and the manager uh, the employee brings these restrictions to the manager and he says manager I I can't do anything um, I can only I can't lift over 10 pounds I can't bend or twist and the manager says well unfortunately I don't have a job for you I don't have a job for you so what happens then well let's take this same situation here and we'll say that he was uh, working 40 hours a week before But now uh, you are working zero hours a week, right? So n what, what happens to your, your pay? Well, the insurance company will pay you uh, what you used to make. So if you were making $10 an hour, okay, now uh, you used to work 40, but now you're, you're working none, you should be paid 40 hours of pay for that week. Right, so you have 40 hours lost. Okay, so that gives you $10 an hour times 40 hours. So we're looking at $400. Okay, but again, remember disability benefits are paid at two thirds of everything. So you're looking at um, let's see, 800 divided by 3, you're looking at $266.67 per week, and the insurance company will pay you that until you go back to work, okay, until you go back to work, all right, and that is the difference between temporary total disability and temporary partial disability.